everybody thank you so much for joining me for this video today i'm excited to bring to you guys another encouraging christian um uh, video for you guys just to encourage you and uplift you in whatever season you're in in your life and um today i really just wanted to talk about how um a lot of times we give the enemy um, a lot of credit for her things that he does um, but I want to encourage you that the enemy always likes to overplay his hand and just in the nick of time what God will do is he will actually flip the thing that the enemy has tried to use to um, you know thwart your destiny um, hurt your family and that God actually can turn that all for your good and ultimately the enemy will be destroyed um, in your situation as you continue to trust and lean on the Lord. And so um, I was reminded yesterday, I was listening to a teaching and it was all about the book of Esther. And I was reminded how um, uh, Haman made uh, gallows for Mordecai and he, you know, he thought that he was um, going to destroy Mordecai and all the Jews and he had this plan which was a terrible plan to kill all of the, the Israelites and basically he overplayed his hand and God ended up um, flipping all that on him so Haman made gallows for Mordecai Morde uh, Haman ended up um, being those gallows were used against him um, and God yes like the king had already put out a decree um so he couldn't take that back what but what he did do is he made a new law so that um the jews would be able to protect themselves and um it would thwart the plans of the enemy and so um since the devil always likes to overplay his hand um he ends up kind of showing what he's going to do, which is what happened with Haman. Um, he, you know, everyone knew that Mordecai was like his enemy. And then Haman got really cocky and he thought that um, he was going to be, um, basically he was going to do this thing after he got the king to sign a decree. And um, in the end, Haman actually paid and other people did too that were enemies of the Jews, that hated the Jews. Um, and I just want to encourage you today that um, even though it may seem right now like the enemy is winning, God will take all of the things that are coming against you and he actually can flip those because the Bible says that he works all things together for our good. So what God does is he does something really interesting. He can take situations and things in our lives and he actually can flip them for our good. He can do something that no one can do. And um, the Bible says that God works all things together for our good. And that's a word from the Lord. And God's word stands. So it's like a, a law. Um, it, it doesn't mean that, you know, it doesn't mean that it's not going to look bad at first. But what it means is God will be end up, he will reveal um his plan in it and how he actually can make it for our good and his glory and in the middle of it it doesn't feel that way it feels like this is never gonna end how is this ever gonna be good for me I don't see ever being happy with this situation but um, God's word is law and it, it is the truth and so um, the Bible says he works everything for our good to those that love him if you really love him he will work these situations that we've gone through for our good and he can turn them around um, for his glory and so um, today I wanted to encourage you that the gates of hell are not going to prevail against you and they're not going to prevail against your destiny as you're seeking the Lord you're being obedient to him and you're surrendered to him then the gates of hell cannot prevail against you and against your destiny against your God giving calling or anointing even the enemy is going to testify of your anointing he's going to testify that not one thing that he was able to do ended up turning out for his good but actually turned out for your good and god is going to send up people um in your life who are going to testify for you um he's going to silence the even you know people have spoken against you people who have 
um, spread lies about you, um, people who have deceived people because of, you know, um, the situation with you. And what, what God's going to do is he's actually going to show those people and those people won't be able to deny God's calling and anointing on your life. They're not going to deny what God did. They're going to testify of what God did for you. And so I just want to encourage you that God can flip the script, right? He can flip things for his glory and for your good. Um, and we just have to trust him. We just have to trust that he is working all things together for our good. And that even though the enemy has these plans against us and you might be seeing the enemy working, that God is actually on the other side and he's working it for our good. He's on the other side of it. And he's like, oh, the enemy did that, but I'm going to give these two things to her. Or the enemy took this, but I'm going to give this to her. And it might look right now like God's not doing anything and that the enemy is winning, but we can rest assured that actually God is using all of these things and it's going to be a slap in the face to the enemy when um, everything comes to fruition and, and the things that God's doing in the spiritual realm begin to manifest in the natural realm. So today I just want to encourage you that God is working all things together for your good, that he is flipping the script on the enemy and that all of the things that look maybe hopeless right now, they maybe look like God's not moving, he's not doing anything, that God is actually working behind the scenes to flip it all for your good. I hope this encouraged you.